to Jake Gyllenhaal, a talented guy, I'm sure we all know that. And uh, here he is in Prisoners, where he plays a police detective uh, called Loki. No, not your brother. Yeah, that would be pretty damn awesome. Anyway, uh, he just shows you, know, he's great at playing police officers since uh, he done End of Watch last year, and now he's done Prisoners. So yeah, Jake Gyllenhaal, I just had to address, he's great. So, uh, how does the rest of the film live up to Jake Gyllenhaal's performance? Find that right here. Jake Hall and Hugh Jackman round out the main cast, and uh, I can see them both going for the Oscar here, you know. They're both really good in this movie, really serious, like, you know, Hugh Jackman's, like, incredibly serious, you know, when he gets angry, he gets angry. Anyway, when you see the trailer, you think, you know, it's just this guy whose children get taken. A little more than that. It follows, much like Rush, the way it followed both uh, Mickey Lauder and James Hunt, uh, as opposed to the trailer where it just followed James Hunt. This one is like that as well. It follows both the main characters like really well, you know. So uh, you'll know the setup for the movie, I think. By now. So basically, I really, really love how the movie starts off. It just sets up the whole movie, sets up the whole feel for the movie. And it's really shocking and, in a way, quite disturbing, like how it happens. It's like this, the whole movie just is pretty disturbing, like, realistic. Like you know, normally you know when films are realistic, it's kind of like come on, this is kind of boring. You know, the world's in non-reality. But this isn't boring, it's really intriguing, you know. It starts off, and there's uh, two American families, one's Terrence Howard's, and one is Hugh Jackman's family. And they're going for a Thanksgiving dinner, and, uh, you know, it's just, you know, they're having a bit of talk, you know, having a little laugh, you know, like, like you do on Thanksgiving. I think, we don't have Thanksgiving here, but that's what I think it is. And, um, you know, they're all like, hey, I'm missing the game, you know, put the game on, and they're watching the football, and then, it's all like that, you know, it's, it's really sort of calm start for the movie, and the kids are like, hey daddy, can we play outside? And then he's like, you know, you've got to take your big brother with you. And then, uh, you know, they, they go to the house, but uh, they don't tell the older siblings that, that they're going there, you know, like after they've all this. They go there, and then, uh, you know, they can't find the children, they get a little bit worried, but they think, you know, they're probably okay. And it turns out they're not. They're nowhere to be seen, they're not at the house, they're not in the streets, they're not like, in, in either house. So, you know, as, as you'd think, the parents call the police. And that's where we're introduced to Jake Dillard's brilliant um, detective Loki, still not called brother. And uh, Jake Dillard was really good as uh, police officers. He should do more police sort of movies. He's only done two, I believe. Maybe, I don't know, maybe he's done more, but I just know him from End of Watch and this one. And he, he's just great, you know. And maybe he worked for the police force at one point. Who knows? Apart from die hard Jake Dillard fans. Anyway. This movie, that's what I like about it, you know, how realistic it starts and how realistic it carries on to be. It's just, uh, by the end, you might hate it. Let's talk about that quickly with no spoilers. After I've made this video, I'm going to be making another video, like straight after, about what I didn't like about the ending and why the ending sucks. Uh, that will have major spoilers. Uh, I don't know if I'll upload it today or later today, depending on when this one gets uploaded, really, you know, I mean, later today or tomorrow morning. Yeah, so, uh, I'm gonna make it anyway. But the ending is really bad, you know. It's like, that whole movie is really good, really intriguing, you're sitting there like, oh, this, this mystery's really gonna get solved, I'm really looking forward to see how it ends up, and it just is so underwhelming. Basically, uh... It goes through the whole sort of thing, and then by the end, the filmmakers were like, hey, this movie's two and a half hours long. That's as long as Django Unchained, you know what, we should probably end it here. Who cares what the ending is, let's stop filming, let's cut it here, and let's just roll the credits, and people won't care. I care. I might be the only one, but I care. The ending is bad. Um, and so many mysteries left on soul. Like, there's, there's these red herrings put through the movie, and you're just like, come on. Why do we need red herrings? It just annoys the hell out of me. But uh, other than that, the movie is just solid acting, solid storyline. I mean, the storyline might not sound that original, but as it goes through, it just gets more and more shocking. You know, Hugh Jackman, just he is great as a, as a father who's lost his child. You know, he does what any sort of good man would do. 
to do whatever it takes to get his daughter back and he really really shows that you know he gets really violent really crazy throughout the movie and he just gets crazier crazier until you know that horrible ending comes yeah uh without spoiling it that's pretty much what i can say without spoiling it because there's so much in the movie that if you haven't seen it and you want to see it if i say any more it will just ruin it for you so i couldn't really say that much more about it just you know if this movie gets nominated for absolutely nothing then i'll be pretty shocked even you know acting but if it gets nominated for best picture i won't be that surprised it's just if with an ending that bad and maybe that long maybe it can't get nominated for it but let's find out Again, I need to sort of think of a new rating system. I've been thinking over, I just can't think of anything. If you've got any suggestions, let me know. But uh, it was hard to rate this one because I didn't know if it was a 4 or a 5, but I can't give it a 5 because of that ending. Um, 4.5 seems too high as well, so I'm going to go with something I haven't done before and I don't want to do, but I'm going to go for 4.25 out of 5, and I'm going to give it my personal thumbs up. So, yeah. I enjoyed the movie, I thought it was really intriguing and really good, but by the end, disappointing. That's why it's only 4.25, but I'd say it'd probably be on the top half of my top 10 movies of 2013 if some other movies don't come out and surpass this one, but yeah, it did actually kind of remind me of sort of End of Watch meets L.A. Noir with the bits of Officer Loki, like when he's walking around the house, I was like, hey, I remember doing that at L.A. Noir, looking at clues and everything, I remember doing that, that's what I thought as I was watching it. And at the end of the watch part is just Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal, you just imagine him as a bald guy walking around houses, like arresting people. There you go. Now you can see end of watching this movie, right? Yeah. But, um, you know, enough about Jake Gyllenhaal. Hugh Jackman is good as well. I can see him, like, if he gets nominated for Best Actor, I won't be surprised. So, um, yeah, if you've seen Prisoners, let me know what you think about it. I know it's been out in the uh, USA for quite a while. It has only just come out in the UK, I think, last week, but I just want to see it. So, that's why I'm just bringing you review me. That's why I'm only just bringing you the review. So let me know what you think of it. Um, um, thank you for watching. As always, if you like what you see, subscribe and uh, like us on Facebook. The link, as always, is on our channel. So thank you for watching and goodbye.